During combat, threats from enemy rockets, mortars, and artillery pose a significant problem for ground troops. As a means of retaliation against such threats, the military services of the United States make use of a specialized point defense system known as counter-rocket artillery and mortar batteries. The CRAN is made up of a variety of systems that not only find, warn, and respond to oncoming shots, but also give commands and control. There are a number of steps to putting together a CRAM, such as putting a big supply of ammo in its amazing 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun. Thus, keep watching to learn how it works and why the military needs it. Behind US genius idea to test a truck-mounted super-fast Gatling gun. Along the same lines as its naval equivalent, the CRAM makes use of cutting-edge search and track KU-band radar systems. These radars include closed-loop spotting technology, which enables them to autonomously acquire, track, and engage their targets. In the event that you are unaware, the region of the electromagnetic spectrum known as the KU band has frequencies ranging from 12 to 18 gigahertz and may be found in the microwave range. On board the space shuttle, similar technologies were fitted to assist in the identification and tracking of other spacecraft. If you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel so you can learn about the fundamentals of war battles and tactics from the past and present. The system is also able to be connected with a variety of different sensors and technologies, which together may assist build an overarching protective umbrella to safeguard a particular spot on the ground. The 20mm Vulcan Gatling gun is the principal armament of the weapon. It consists of six optimized barrels that have been enhanced with forward-looking infrared, or FLIR, sensors. The barrels are joined together at the breech, the mid-barrel, and the muzzle in order to improve the accuracy of the weapon and allow it to have more control over the shot dispersion patterns. The M61 is a rotating cannon in the manner of a Gatling gun that may be propelled hydraulically, electrically, or pneumatically, and is air-cooled or electrically fired. It has seen service for more than half a century aboard a variety of fixed-wing military aircraft, tanks, and ships in some form or another. Initially, General Electric was the company that manufactured it. The main gun system on the United States Air Force's F-14, F-15, F-16, and F-18 fighter aircraft is an M-61, which is also used by the United States Army in the M-167 and M-163 air defense systems. The cannon is also employed by the B-52H bomber as the tail gun, while a lighter version of the gun is used on the F-22 Raptor fighter. However, the weaponry at their disposal is just one aspect of the narrative. If you are unable to monitor the cannon rounds and correctly deploy them in the appropriate location at the appropriate time, you essentially have just a nice piece of pyrotechnics. This is made possible by a mix of cutting-edge sensors that allow the CRAM to scan, track, and engage incoming targets simultaneously, as well as prioritize targets and determine whether or not they have been killed, regardless of whether it is daylight or nighttime. The weapon system is able to identify prospective threats early on in their flight thanks to the CRAM KU band radar system. However, the system will only pass on the trajectory and vector data of these possible threats to the system's tracking algorithms when it determines that these potential threats pose a genuine and immediate threat. A sophisticated thermal imaging system is used to aid improve aiming in order to help with target tracking and engagement for better results. This system works in the wavelength range of 8 to 12 microns and is positioned on a stabilizing pedestal that is connected to the ray dome that houses the weapon's primary antenna. In addition to enhancing the overall anti-air warfare effectiveness of the system in areas with many paths, it offers highly dependable passive search and tracking both during the day and night. How much does it cost to purchase? You probably have guessed that a piece of equipment with such a high level of sophistication would not come cheap. The final specification of the units that are bought may have a significant impact on the cost of each CRAM system, which can range anywhere from $10 million to $15 million. However, this just accounts for the costs involved in the initial acquisition of the technology. This piece of equipment has such a high rate of fire that it burns through rounds very quickly. 
A typical combat with a single missile may cost anywhere from 30,000 to 60,000 US dollars, depending on the quantity of missiles that were used. And this is one of the most significant drawbacks of the system, as well as one of the reasons why it is expensive from a purely material standpoint. The fact that so much ammunition is spent on a single danger means that the number of threats that the unit may fight at any moment is theoretically restricted by the amount of ammunition that is available. According to certain estimations, this would suggest that the Centurion C-RAM has a maximum anti-RAM cap of about five incoming shots before it has to be reloaded. Additionally, there are certain additional alleged flaws in the system. For instance, it takes around five seconds to acquire, latch onto, and engage a potential danger in combat. It also has a rather limited effective range, which is somewhere between 100 and 1,000 meters. Despite these limitations, it has proven to be one of the most successful anti-missile mortar and artillery defense systems ever developed in the history of the planet. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.